It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Oscar York, the voice, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word, and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian world. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Brother Oscar York, the voice here on chatting from the word and we are so 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 blessed to bring you this program this being november 24th uh, as some may call it thanksgiving eve and tomorrow will be what the world considers thanksgiving thanksgiving it's a beautiful time for families to come together spend some time together and to sit and give god thanks and grace and thanking him and <laughs> grazing him <laughs> and eating a beautiful meal together, getting reacquainted with family and friends once again. And that's what tomorrow is about, is family coming together and showing love and thanking, you know, just being a family. Because many is not blessed to be with family tomorrow. But you all are blessed to have a family and to be with a family. Praise the Lord for it, my friends. Praise the Lord. And we hope that tomorrow you, your families get together and just recognize how blessed you are to have a close-knitted family. Because family is not close as it once was when when when. Big Mama dies, or Grandmother dies, or whoever's holding that, that family together. It seems like family just deteriorates. But you know what, my friends? It's just a beautiful thing for families and friends to come together, giving thanks and having a beautiful, beautiful meal together. Together. 
in unity, in love. And uh, if you ask Brother Oscar, that's what that's what tomorrow represent but but you know we here at chatting from the word we give god thanks every day every day every day that he wakes us up we thank the lord giving him his praise and giving him his glory <clears throat> yes we do Yes, we are here on Chatting from the Word. That's what we do here on Chatting from the Word. Praising, praising the Lord and thanking Him, thanking Him for waking us up this morning. Watching over us last night as we slept in slumber and thanking Him for waking all of us. We are on this side of heaven. Uh, we are on the top soil and not the soil on top of us for another wonderful beautiful day, a day only he created. Brother Oscar had nothing to do with it. You had nothing to do with it. But our Father, whose society looks low, allow it to be. It was the psalmist who said in Psalm 118, 24, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you this morning, my friend, but Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the Word. We are going to be praising, praising the Lord here today on Chatting from the Word. What about you? <laughs> amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for blessing all of us on this side of heaven with another wonderful day, giving all of us a second chance, another chance to make it right with you, another chance to walk closer and closer with you. First of all, we want to welcome all of our new listeners to the program today. If this be your first time listening in, we want to welcome you to the program. We want to thank you for listening in. And we honor you today. You're not just our welcome guest, but you are our honor guest. And we honor you, applaud you today. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We applaud you today, thanking you for listening in, thanking you for being part of our day as we are a part of yours. And we hope that, you know, you enjoy what you listen to today and you share share our program on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or wherever you're using the internet. Share, share, and share. I know the Lord would be happy to share this program, and Brother Oscar will have be delighted as well, because there's many people out there that need to hear some beautiful gospel songs, a message of love and hope. Give them a little hope, you know. The world needs hope today. And I know the majority of people that's keeping hope away from people is the church sometimes. But we need in the church, we need to keep hope alive, church. Don't turn down people who are looking for hope and love and joy. We need the message of hope today. Amen, amen. We need that message. Yes, we do. The message of hope. Amen, amen, amen. The message, the message of hope, of love and joy. We need that in the world today when somebody can just take a rifle out and kill you and they get away with it. Oh, man, we, we need love today in this world where love is hard to come by. We really, really do. 
My friends, if you love what we're doing here on Chatting from the Word, let us know, let us know, let us know, and you can help us out. And the biggest way of letting us know is to support us financially. We do need your financial assistance here. We are in a dark place financially. And if you can help us dig out of this dark, dark hole that we are in financially, Brother Oscar, we appreciate that very, very much. If you want to give anything, any amount you want to give, you can give it through our PayPal account. We do have a account on PayPal. Just go to PayPal.com and put in my email address, which is Lord Case Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to the sale and do the same. Put in my email address, which is Lord Case Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And any amount you put in, any amount you put in will be will be beautiful. If it's smaller, if it's large, would be a beautiful thing. And if you want to sponsor us here at Chatting from the Word, we do welcome that. If you want to sponsor us, you're welcome to sponsor us at any amount you can afford to sponsor us on a monthly basis. At this time, we are in a deep financial hole and we need to be we need help. We need financial help because if we don't get it, Brother Oscar will be put out and won't have a place to live and food to eat. So help us out here at Chatting from the Word. Be charitable. Be charitable. That's what the church is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be charitable. That's what Christians are supposed to be about, is to helping those that need help. And we do need help here at chatting from the word and you can help us out help us out today go to those accounts that we just mentioned if you can help us out in a mighty way financially we will appreciate that very very much amen and a amen now most of you and brother oscar says this every day on the air Know where we are broadcasting. You know where we're broadcasting from. You, 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 yes, you do. You know, you know. <laughs> you know that we're broadcasting from that wonderful, beautiful state of Ohio. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are broadcasting from that beautiful, beautiful state of Ohio and Ohioans. Brother Oscar, know you have your ears on. And Brother Oscar, do appreciate your support. I really, really do. And Ohioans, tell others about us. Let them know that we're on at 9 o'clock in the morning, Mondays to Fridays, and on Saturday evenings. Let them know that we are praising the Lord here and praising the Lord is what we do. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Praising the Lord is what we do here on Chatting from the Word. Amen. And a a. Man, where am I, you all? Where am I? Where am I? I am here on Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are so, so, so delighted to do just that. Yes, we are. We are so delighted to bring this program on uh, the day before Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving Eve, and I know many of you, I remember growing up, my mama, uh, she used to stay up all night preparing 
the Thanksgiving meal for the next day. She'll cook that turkey and put that turkey on, that dressing, cook up her, her famous sweet potato pies and cakes and, and all that. Growing up, during this time, we had a good time. We had a good time growing up in the York's household. And Thanksgiving was a day we really cherished. And, of course, Christmas and all that good stuff. But as you get older, people pass on, things changes, and you recognize, you know, if you don't have God, you're more alone, alone than anything. But those of you who have families are going to sit down with family tomorrow, count your blessings. My friends, count your blessings. Amen. And amen. What time is it, you all? What time is this time for our snapshot of the program today? Yes, it is. It's time for our snapshot for today. Amen, amen, and amen. Of course, you heard an introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy song by Wayne Williams, and a few will be our prayer time, our prayer time, our prayer time, and then Ravens a Capella, a sweet hour of prayer. And our scripture text will be coming from Psalm, the 30th division, verses 1 through 12. That be Psalms, the 30th division, verses 1 through 12. And if you have a copy of God's Word, you can read along with us. You are invited to read along with us if you have a copy of God's Divine Word. And most of you know what today is, correct? Do you? <laughs> do you? Do you know what today is? Do you? Well, my friend, this is Wednesday, and it's our music time once again. Yes, it is. It is our music time once again, and we will be playing many of your acapella gospel music today. And we hope these songs here lift up your day, put that snap in your Christian walk, and helping you to walk closer and closer with our Lord and our Father. And in our first set, we were gonna be we gonna be playing Redeemed. My soul is anchored in the Lord. And then we are going to be playing Frank Melton the third and the bell. He brought us. He brought us. And the last song in that set will be Vanda, Vanda, one more day. And then in that second set, we're going to be playing, if time permits, Raging Harmony, Build Your Kingdom. And after that, it'll be a cappella, a cappella, Abba, 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 Father. And that is your program today here on Chatting from the Word. And that was your snapshot of the program today. Yes, it was. Amen, amen, and amen. Man, amen, amen, amen. Oh, my friends, are you ready? Are you ready to take this ride with Jesus at the, at the, the steering wheel, taking us on this gospel ride this morning? Are you ready to take this ride? And if you're ready to take this ride, my friends, 
Hold on to your hat. Hold on to your seats. And hold on to your hair. As we take this gospel ride. Amen. 
and amen. And that was Radiance Acapella, Sweet Hour of Prayer. And of course, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here, or in chatting from the Word, just send it to my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. Or you can send it to chatting from the Word at gmail.com. Or you can put it on any page that you're listening to the program through in the comment section if you have a prayer request that you want brother oscar to pray for here on chatting from the word now if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential that is fine we do respect your confidentiality here on chatting from the word just simply say brother oscar pray for me and call my name and we'd be so delighted to do just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to me here on Chatting from the Word. And of course, keep those in your prayers, those that we've been requesting prayer for for quite some time, those that lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times in this world today, and those that are trying to make a difference when it comes to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, the truth of his words. Amen and uh, a amen. And of course, keep your brother Oscar here in your prayers as well. Pray for me as I pray for you. Amen and amen. If you have a copy of God's Word and if you would love to follow us to in our reading, doing our prayer time, we'll be coming from Psalms, Psalms, the 30th Psalm, verses 1 through 12. That is Psalms, the 30th Psalm, verses 1 through 12. And the psalmist penned these words. He said, I will start thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, and I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at his, at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endured for a moment, and his favor is life. We can may endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I should never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou had biddest hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when... I go down to the pit. Shall the dust praise thee? Shall I declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sidewalk and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Amen and amen. And that was the Psalm of David, Psalm the 30th Division, verses 1 through 12. And thank you for reading along with us. 
Let us approach the throne of grace. Our mighty, mighty Father. Our Father who sits high and looks low. Our loving and kind Father. Father, we come to you at this time in the humblest way we know how, Father, with our heads bowed and our hearts and our minds lifted up to you, first of all, Father, in thanksgiving. Oh, Father, thanking you for watching over us on last evening as we slept and slumbered. Thank you, Father, for waking us up to a day that none of us has never witnessed before. We that are on this side of heaven, giving all of us that's on this side of heaven a second chance, another chance to make it right with you, another chance to walk closer and closer with you. And Father, we thank you so much for that. And Father, we thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down in this cruel world. And to show us how to live, to show us how to connect to you and take on the cross, becoming sin, who knew no sin became sin, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we thank you so much, so much for that. Oh, Father, we come praying for the world itself at this time. We recognize, Father, that the world stands a far distance from you. But what we request, Father, is that you allow us as Christians to shine our light. So in the, in the hope that someone may see our light and come out of the world of darkness and be translated into your son's dear kingdom. Oh, Father, we come praying for those who have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies, touch their bodies, raise them from the bed of sickness, so they may give you thanks and glorify you. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones at this time. Father, we just pray that you will comfort them during a mourning period. And Father, we pray for those who are losing loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them too. And Father, we pray for the police officers who had to take a life. Father, we just pray that it was justified and if justified. Father, we pray for those police officers as well. Oh, Father, we pray for our political leaders at this time. Those divided, Father, we pray. We pray, Father. We pray, Father, that they may make laws forbidding us from worshiping you, but make laws so we all can live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we pray for each listener at this time. Help them to have a beautiful day, Father. Help them to praise you. Help them, Father, to give you glory, praise, and honor. Father, be with them through their shortcomings. Be with them through all the problems that they are going through. Father, cast their problems in the deepest part of the sea where it might not be surface anymore. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program this morning, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep this fine program going and going. Father, help us today that we may have a beautiful program and to lift up someone that's down this morning, to lift up someone that's trying to hang in there for you and give them a good spirit and a hope in their heart. Oh, Father, Father, we come praying for those that we've been praying for all this time, those that lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times at this time, and those that are trying to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel, your word, in Jesus' name. And, Father, we come praying once again that you keep us, keep us, Father, just keep us, Encourage, Father, and help us not to be discouraged. Help us to keep it going and going. In Jesus' blessed name, do we pray. Amen. And a amen. All right. We want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us, and as always, we Hope that we pray to something that is on your mind. All right, all right. 
We'll be right back with the second half after these messages. <clears throat> hey, 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 all right, all right, all right. We are back on this, what the world may consider Thanksgiving Eve. And we hope everyone is doing beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we hope that you kept your ears on, that you kept your ears on all this time. And you are listening. At this time, we are running behind time. And we want to apologize for that. We're running a little bit behind. But, you know, it's Thanksgiving Eve. You know, I guess we took our extra little time to try to help you understand what true thanksgiving and giving the Lord thanks is all about. And that's what it's about. And if you're meeting tomorrow, you meet meeting tomorrow to be with families, loved ones, friends. Enjoy that time because it may not come around for a long time. For a long time. So enjoy your blessing on tomorrow. Amen and amen. Of course, we start our second half off back for donations. If you can help us out on the financial way, uh, it would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. We do have a account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, off York 3443 at gmail.com, and you can put in any amount you want. Or you can go to Zelle and do the same. Put in that email address, which is for case of York 3443 at gmail.com. Amen. And amen. My friends, do you like us? Do you like us? If you like us, we are on the Spreaker platform live at this time. And on the Spreaker platform is a place where you can put your likes. So let us know that you like us. But if you love us, be our next follower on our Spreaker platform. And we also come live on YouTube. We are live on YouTube at this time. And if you listen to us to our YouTube station, give us a thumbs up. Let us know how much you like us. But if you love us, subscribe to our program and hit the bell. And when you hit the bell, they will notify you every time we are broadcasting. Amen and amen. And we also are tweeting, tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. If you listen to us on Twitter Live, we thank you so much for that. And you can like us on Twitter, too. And we also are tumbling, tumbling on Tumblr. If you love us on Tumblr, let us know if you listen to us through our Tumblr station. And at this time, our Facebook station is not up, but we are working on that. But, my friends, that's no excuse because we do come on many of your internet networks. We're on Music Download, BFC, Lathe, Joyce of Head, Chrome Webview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PaulPlayer.net, Chrome iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeart Radio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bean.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, Click It In. Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit the Google Play app store and download Freaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, chatting from the word. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that you will not miss not one episode that we are broadcasting. Do that today so you won't miss us on Friday. Because on tomorrow we're taking off to, to uh, we're taking off to tomorrow, so we won't come back on until Friday. Amen and a amen. We need to hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Apologize for that. We need to hurry up, and we getting ready to play our first set of songs. And I know you gonna be uplifted with these songs. So my friends, here they are. Enjoy and be uplifted. Thank you. 
Sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still the hope that lies within is real.
And this is what I 
And in that set, you heard the redeemed, my soul, is anchored in the Lord. And then you heard Frank Melton III and the bell, he brought me, amen. And then on that last song was Rhonda, one more day, thanking the Lord for one more day. We all should be thankful to the Lord for giving us just one more day. Beautiful, uh, beautiful songs. Lift us up and to you know, put the Lord on our minds and thoughts and hearts. Amen and amen. We'll be right back with our last set of songs after these messages.
Nobody has no place to go Somebody cries out Saying Abba Abba Father Take me Higher Abba Father Take me home Somebody needs a friend to lean on Somebody's not there Somebody's looking at the end Somebody's in prayer Praying Amen, amen, and amen. Now in our last set, you heard Raging Harmony and a song, Build Your Kingdom. And then you heard a cappella, Abba, Father. And again, we hope those songs uplift you, put the Lord on your minds, and you're walking with the snap crackle and pop in your step today showing the world christ in you amen amen all right we'll be back with the closing after these messages
All right, all right, all right. It's time for us to get on out of here. Been time. <laughs> we went a little over today. We apologize for that. But again, we hope that uh, these songs lift you up and put the Lord on your minds. Now, on tomorrow, we're not going to be coming on because I know majority of you probably be with family and friends enjoying uh, Thanksgiving dinner and giving the Lord thanks on tomorrow. But we will be coming back on Friday and Saturday evening, if it be the Lord's will. And we hope that you join us next time when we are on the air. Now, if you want to uh, catch this program, you can listen to this program on all your internet networks. We called them out. We told you who they were. So you can connect with us on those internet networks if you did not listen to the program live. And more Georgia time, I'm sharing it with my email list anyway. And if you want to be on our email list, just send me your email address, and we will email you the program. Amen and amen. We must get on out of here. We really enjoyed being with you today on this Thanksgiving Eve day. Will you pray with me, please? Uh, for all that we in heaven, and I'll be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is being done. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. We pray, Father, that you be with them, go with them, have them, help them to have a prosperous and wonderful day today. Now may the grace of God, we communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye and may God bless.